Unraveling the Sensual Legacy 10 Things You Didn't Know About the Emmanuel Movie Series Ah, uh, the Emmanuel series, an evocative blend of erotica and exotic locales that has titillated, scandalized, and sometimes bewildered audiences for decades. You may think you know the infamous tales of Emmanuel, the bored diplomat's wife with a penchant for adventurous liaisons, but, oh darling, there is so much more beneath those silky sheets. Allow me, your cheeky cinephile guide, to unveil 10 lesser-known nuggets about this legendary series. 1. The real Emmanuel meet Mariah Rolitandrian, the French Thai actress who penned The Joys of a Woman, under the pen name Emmanuel Arson. A book so steamy it was banned in France, detailing the risque escapades of a sexually liberated housewife, who knew literary rebellion could be this saucy. 2. Sylvia Crystal, the eternal Emmanuel asterisk asterisk. Dutch actress Sylvia Crystal became the face, and let's be honest, other parts, of Emmanuel with the 1974 film. Embracing the X rating, the movie catapulted her to international fame. Fun fact, Crystal's portrayal was so iconic. It's estimated that 300 million people worldwide have watched her frolic through French cinema history. 3. The Arson Mystery Was Mariah the true author, or was it her husband, Louis Jacques Rolitandrian? Ovidio Asinitis, producer of another arson flick, Lore, claims it was Louis behind the pen. A real-life plot twist worthy of any Emmanuel screenplay. 4. French Cigarette Trick The original, Emmanuel, pushed boundaries, famously featuring a scene where a dancer lights a cigarette with her, erm, intimate parts. This wasn't just pushing the envelope, it was setting it on fire and watching it sizzle. 5. Sequels Galore the success of the original film led to a cavalcade of sequels, starting with Emmanuel II, or Emmanuel, The Joys of a Woman for U.S. Audiences. Crystal returned for these films, but not without some bumps. She once sold her interest for a mere $150,000, missing out on the film's $26 million domestic gross. Talk about a bad bargain. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. Unofficial Emmanuel The 70s and 80s saw a plethora of knockoff Emmanuel films. Note the single M. Most notably the Italian Black Emmanuel series starring Laura Gemser. These films were like the wilder, naughtier cousins who crashed the family reunion and spiked the punch. 7. Carry On Seduction asterisk the 1978 parody, Carry On Emmanuel, with double, and for twice the fun, brought the series into the realm of slapstick. Kenneth Williams played the French ambassador who, after a rather unfortunate parachuting accident, loses his libido, leaving his wife Emmanuel Prevert to seduce her way through London's VIPs. British humor at its bodiest. 8. Emmanuel in Space Yes, folks, they send Emmanuel to space. The 1990s sci-fi series starred Krista Allen, making zero gravity sexy times a thing. Clearly, there's no place too far for Emmanuel's amorous adventures, not even the final frontier. 9. Ali Hayes' modern Emmanuel asterisk asterisk Fast forward to the 2010s and adult film star Ali Hayes, performing under the alias Britney Joy, took up the mantle in Emmanuel through time. Because why stop at space when you can conquer time itself? 10. Gaming Emmanuel Not content with films alone, the character made her pixelated debut in a 1989 video game. Let's just say guiding Emmanuel through her escapades on an 8-bit screen added a whole new dimension to joystick handling. From the scandalous to the sublime, the Emmanuel series remains a beacon of erotic cinema. Whether you view it as a liberating exploration of female sexuality or simply a series of gloriously guilty pleasures, one thing is for sure, Emmanuel's allure is as timeless as it is titillating. So next time you find yourself in a Parisian cinema, 
or perhaps floating in zero-g, remember, there's always more to discover about the world's most famous bored housewife. Who's your daddy?